We present Deep Trail Following Robotic Guide Dog in Pedestrian Environments for People Who Are Blind and Visually Impaired, Learning from Virtual and Real World Environment. This is a joint work by Chuang and colleagues in National Chow Tung University, University of Massachusetts at Boston, Insight SRL, and the University of Modena y Reggio Emilia. There is a great need to develop navigation aids. To date, the most commonly used navigation aids are white cane and guide dog, but both are limited. Although recent works extended the capabilities of existing solutions, the challenge of high reliability for safety remains. There have been some attempts to develop vision-based algorithms for man-made trails as low-cost alternatives to white canes and tactile trails. Nevertheless, there are still challenges to overcome, as in the previous works. Camera observations may vary when man-made trails are deployed on various background textures under different illuminations or shadows. Interclass variations, such as the textures of the Freedom Trail, also make it a challenging problem for feature-based approaches or ransack to solve. We proposed a learning approach for autonomous, trail-following, guiding robots to tackle the challenges. We developed a robotic guide dog providing reliable physical human-robot interaction. Deep trail-following models trained using data from real-world and virtual environments, which include various background textures, illumination variances, and interclass variations. We rendered camera inputs from a virtual world including a background texture with some regions covered by light and shadow. Nine virtual cameras were placed at various lateral distances and headings. We prepared two types of trails, yellow-blue trail and the freedom trail, by printing them on A4-sized pages and then stitched them in natural environments. We deployed the trained models from both the real and virtual environments for onboard prediction on the proposed robotic guide dogs. We also inspected the LED lights on the robots, which indicated the onboard computation latency. The proposed robotic guide dogs were then tested in loops, and both robots were able to stay on the trails for more than 20 loops. A virtual environment offered a safe and reproducible experiment in dynamic environments for safety considerations. We constructed a 3D model of the Kenmore Station in Boston in which to conduct our model evaluation. The virtual environment included a few virtual pedestrians walking around. We conducted user studies with 10 BVI users. We showed that most participants finished the trail following and correctly responded to the turns. For quantitative measures, we used a Google Tango device to capture and record the user's movements, average walking speed, and time to completion. We plan to carry out more tests in more realistic environments and make it usable in BVI users' daily lives. The research was supported by Ministry of Science and Technology Taiwan. We are also grateful for the help by our collaborators.